Norman Reedus would play Daryl Dixon, the top fan favorite from AMC's The Walking Dead, for a total of seven seasons at the time of this recording. Before Norman would become a cult classic hero following his roles in Boondock Saints and appearing in music videos for artists including Tricky, Hilary Duff, and most famously Lady Gaga. In the most biblical sense, I am beyond repentance. Before Norman Reedus would have an estimated net worth of $8 million, earning approximately $80,000 an episode, which is a lot of money considering there are multiple episodes where he doesn't even say a peep. I need you. Are you with me? Before we get his own six episode travel series in 2016 on AMC called Ride with Norman Reedus, a show dedicated strictly to motorcycle culture around America. You know what I gotta say? I haven't seen one turtle. I haven't seen one turtle. It was all. They're all hibernating. Growing up, young Norman had always taken an interest in the arts, but it wasn't as that of an actor. He bounced between jobs as a painter, photographer, sculptor, and videographer until settling on a job at a Venice Beach bike shop. There are two sides to the story as to why he got fired, which resulted in him getting pissed drunk at a Los Angeles party and screaming at people from behind his sunglasses. He woke up the next day with a mega hangover and an invitation to try out for a play. And from there, well, a star was born. Where I do some pretty grody things to some animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck them, but there's some pretty good What's going on, guys? My name's Michael Credden, documenting the life and career of Norman Reedus prior to fame, here for you up before they're famous. Now, if you're watching this video, you're likely a fan of The Walking Dead, and I have good news for you. We have made a before they're a fiction video on Daryl Dixon, and it's pretty interesting because Daryl was never ever seen in any of the comics. The link is at the end of this video and down below. Be sure to check it out and subscribe to Before They're Fiction. And now, let's get into this before they're famous. I mean, I think the one people talk about a lot is the breast implant. Um, you got a breast implant? Yeah. Norman Mark Reedus was born on January 6, 1969, born in the Florida state of Hollywood. So even from birth, he was destined to make it big. Although I don't think Florida's version of Hollywood is all that nice. Actually, neither is Hollywood. His parents are Marianne Yarber and Norman Reedus Sr., and he later had a younger sister named Leslie. He is of Italian, Irish, English, and Scottish descent. His parents separated very early on in his life, and he was raised by his mother, who was a woman of many talents, some of which include running an orphanage in Kurdistan, being a kindergarten teacher, a saleswoman of coffins, and even had the title of being a Playboy bunny. Yeah, well, they say boys get their looks from their mother. Growing up, Norman was always very creative. He had tons of skills in the arts as a painter, sculptor, and photographer. One time, he even sculpted a fully detailed vagina from snow. Wonder how much that one would sell for, or who the hell would buy such a thing? Amy, what does your pussy look like? Um, probably like the mouth of like an old lounge singer. There's like a cigarette hanging out of it. When Norman was 17, his mother got a teaching job out in Tokyo, Japan, and Norman dropped out of high school to join her overseas. It was then he caught a bit of wanderlust and made his way across Eurasia to London and Spain, eventually meeting a girl who he fell head over heels for, and with whom he moved back to the States with, settling down in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, that relationship didn't last long because the girl ended up reconciling with her ex and getting married, leaving Norman on his own. He was pulling in a tiny bit of cash selling his art, but needed a stable job to get by. He met a man named Carl Legaspi who owned a Harley shop called Dr. Carl's Hog Hospital. Back then, Norman knew very little about bikes, but took the job anyway for one sole reason. The shop had a loner Honda Rebel. And it was on this bike that Norman learned how to ride. He had previously totaled a motorcycle, attempting to do a wheelie, and that was back at junior high, so he probably could have used the practice. Mm -hmm. One day, according to Norman, Legaspi got extremely angry at the shop's pit bull for chewing on a bike's sideboard. And when Norman stepped in to defend the dog, the two got into a fight that ended up with Norman being fired. Now, interestingly enough, Legaspi has spoken up about this incident and claims Norman made up the story about the dog, and that he actually fired him for slacking off and showing up late to work. Who knows? Regardless of what happened that day, a friend invited him to a party in the Hollywood Hills to blow off some steam, and the man had a lot of steam to blow off. He got entirely slammered at the party and ended up wearing sunglasses while yelling at people the entire night. Kinda sounds like college, you know what I mean? But what doesn't happen in college is someone thinking you'd make a great actor because of these actions. And he was offered a spot to be in a play. And they said, you'll be the understudy. So I, I thought I would never even have to go on. 
And then I went out the first night because the dude didn't show up. That is how Norman entered the world of acting. The play called Maps for Drowners played at the Sunset Boulevard Tiffany Theater that was a turning point in Norman's life. Also fun fact, it starred Lisa Kudrow before she made it big on Friends. Oh, oh gross, it's some kind of grace. It's gross. <laughs> An agent liked what she saw in Norman's debut and agreed to help him find other gigs to further his career. Without officially signing him, he started getting a bunch of work. He first found success credited as a model appearing in a handful of music videos including Wicked As It Seems by Keith Richards, Violently Happy by Bjork, Flat Top by Goo Goo Dolls, Cats in a Cradle covered by Ugly Kid Joe, Strange Currencies by R.E.M. and Fake Blaster Trees by Radiohead. He also booked international work appearing in this Japanese commercial. His first on screen acting role was in 1997 Guillermo del Toro's horror thriller Mimic, a movie about genetically engineered cockroaches. Yeah, no flowery beginning for this guy. Body parts, cocaine filled condoms, uh, little baby alligators. Shit, you wouldn't believe the stuff I'd seen. Shortly after he started up in the biz, he began to date Danish model and former Victoria's Secret's angel, Helena Christensen. The two had a serious relationship starting in 1998 and had a son together, Mingus Lucian Reedus. But ultimately, the couple broke up in 2003. Although they continued to remain friends and they raised their son together. In 1999, Norman Reedus got a breakthrough role as Murphy McManus in the 1999 Boondock Saints film, a role that opened up doors for him and finally established his name as an up and coming American actor. Although I bet everyone thought he was Irish. Shepherds, we shall be for thee, my lord, for thee. Power hath descended forth from thy hand. Since then, he's had steady work in both TV and film, such as 2003's Charmed, and 2007 American Gangster. In 2005, he even had a near death experience. He was in Berlin at the time, going back to his hotel from an REM concert when a semi truck hit his car. He was stuck in the hospital for four months and even had to get a titanium eye socket because of his injuries. But being in a hospital that long is incredibly boring, so we agreed to leave and work on a French short film called Meet Me in Berlin, ironically about a man who gets into a car accident. Yeah, and they say experiences make for better acting. I guess he was method. But it wasn't until he got the role of Daryl Dixon on The Walking Dead that he really achieved nationwide acclaim. And to find out how he got the role of Daryl, well you're gonna have to check out that story on Before Their Fiction. It's a really good one. Why you keep that teddy bear on the front of your truck? Oh, it makes the kids feel more comfortable. You, you have kids? No. As for the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is before their fans. My name is Michael McCredden, we make a lot of bio videos here for you on this channel. We've done over 500 or so, almost like 700. We do porn stars, we do rappers, actors, singers, and we've been doing a bunch of people from The Walking Dead, including Rick Grimes, or Andrew Lincoln, or Carl, you know what I mean.